Tonight, a common yet dangerous transport option for migrants heading to the U.S. border shut down. New images from Mexico's largest freight company, Ferromex, showing hundreds of migrants riding freight trains in what the operator calls a social and humanitarian issue. The company taking unprecedented action, announcing it is halting service on 60 different trains, the same train system that has routes to major destinations bordering U.S. cities like El Paso, Eagle Pass, and Nogales, leaving large groups of migrants stranded near the tracks. Nosotros vamos a continuar el viaje. Estamos, de hecho, estamos esperando el tren. Um... Accidente, sí he escuchado que han habido, pero no como, no como lo dice la gente, que tantos accidentes así. The company says in the last few days, as many as 1,500 migrants, including families with children, have been riding the trains north, resulting in half a dozen injuries and deaths. This morning, Mexico's president, Andrés Manuel López Obrador, speaking out about the company's service suspension. No, lo que nos importa no son los trenes, nos importa eh, los migrantes. The move comes as the number of migrants apprehended at the border is increasing after dropping earlier this year. Two Homeland Security officials telling NBC News more than 7,500 migrants were taken into custody along the border this Sunday alone, a surge that is being felt in cities like Eagle Pass in Texas, where today the mayor signed an emergency declaration asking the federal government for funding to reimburse the emergency services the city has used to deal with the influx. It has taken a toll on our local resources, specifically our police force and our, our fire department, they have had to answer many calls because of this influx of people coming in. U.S. Customs and Border Protection saying tonight they are encouraged by the Ferromex train shutdown, emphasizing that the border is not open as they brace for another potential increase of migrants. Juan Venegas joins us tonight from Miami. Guad, migrants have been using these trains, we know, to hitch rides for decades. We saw the trains also in action covered with migrants during Title 42. Why is the company deciding to stop the trains now? Tom, the migrants have been using the train for decades. In fact, they've named it the Beast or La Bestia because of the dangers that come from riding that train. Uh, the Mexican president was wondering exactly the same thing. Why did they decide to stop services now? So a spokesperson with Ferromex told us that the reason why they're doing it now is because of the unprecedented number of migrants. So essentially, they're seeing more migrants than ever before, and that's why they made the decision to stop the trains. Now, Tom, moving forward, we have to see what kind of effect this is going to have on commerce because these are trains that are bringing products to the United States. So now there's going to be an effect on all of those products that are not making their way to the border. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.